Hey first grade, today off, off of the supply table you need to get one white sheet of paper, you need one paintbrush, and everything else you need should be at your table. You are going to get back your sombrero that we painted last time, we painted all those beautiful lines on it. You need to carefully cut out around that sombrero, follow the line that you traced last class. After you have that sombrero cut out, you can throw your scraps in the garbage. We don't need them anymore. I'm actually going to set my sombrero off to the side for a little bit. Next, at your table, I have one of those tracers. You need to carefully trace that skull shape onto your white sheet of paper. Take your time. Ask a friend to hold it for you if you need help. Traced it. Now i got to cut it out. So you're cutting out your sombrero, tracing, cutting out your skull, making sure to throw the scraps in the garbage. And this skull is going to get glued to your sombrero, just like this. All right. Notice that my sombrero goes on top of the skull. You do not want your skull on top of the sombrero. You want it the other way around. Right. Notice I'm not putting the sombrero way down here, not putting it there. I'm just kind of putting it along the top. So I'm going to put a few dots of glue right along the tippy top where I want that sombrero to be. And I can glue that on just like that. All right, your very last thing to do is we're going to add some of those awesome Day of the Dead designs to our skull. You can see I have a picture at your table with some ideas. You are welcome to use your pencil and to draw those on if you would like. I'm going to draw mine on with a pencil. So I'm going to give them two nice big oval eyes. Notice too that when I glue the sombrero on, the, some, the top of the head is this big round part, not the bottom, the skinny part. All right, The top of the head is the big part. Give him a couple of eyes to do the nose. You'll notice the nose is actually a heart that's just been flipped upside down. So I'm actually going to turn my skeleton around. I'm going to draw a heart like that. And lastly, I need a mouth. So I'm going to draw a horizontal line. I'm going to draw this thing that kind of looks like an M going over and over and over. That's his teeth. Don't make them too little because remember you got to try to paint this. Right? So I got eyes, I've got that upside down heart for the nose, I got the mouth. Now I can add a few designs. Don't overdo it with the designs because remember like I just said you got to paint this. So if it's too hard you might not end up being able to paint it. You could add stars, flowers, different shapes, maybe some patterns. It's up to you what you're going to do. And last but not least, I'm going to paint that. You got an itty bitty brush to do a nice job. After you are all done cutting out your sombrero, tracing, cutting out that head, and then gluing it to the back of the sombrero, and drawing and painting your beautiful skull, these are going to go in the bottom of the drying rack as low as we can go. When you're done, please make sure to Put your brush in the dirty brush bin and throw away all of your scraps.